Thanks so much, Daniel. Well, a recent court case in Palmerston North has raised the tricky issue of wills. An elderly man left his entire estate to two animal welfare groups and not a cent to his only child. That son had the will overturned, receiving a million dollars along with two properties, claiming his father's estate had failed to provide for his proper maintenance. So, what are your rights if you're left out of a will? And if you're the one writing it, how do you make sure your wishes are followed through? Perpetual Guardian's Head of Legal Services, Richard Broad, is with us. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Hillary. Just how common is this sort of case? Uh, it's becoming more and more frequent, especially as uh, wealth is uh, attained by people, uh, there are more claims being made. It gets tricky, doesn't it? Because, I mean, you, I think as a parent, I, I wonder, you know, is there a moral duty to leave everything to my children? There, there's very much so. Under the uh, Family Protection Act, uh, the, the Act protects children's rights and also uh, spouses and de facto partners. And that's exactly what the courts look at, is the moral duty of the will maker. And if that hasn't been discharged, then the courts will redress that. Right. And so if, if, if I contest a will, say I'm a child and, and my parents have left me nothing, damn them, uh, I go to the court. And does the court look uh, fairly sympathetically on my, on my case? It certainly does. And it looks towards uh, your maintenance and support and what the moral duty of your deceased parent uh, should have discharged that duty. And if they haven't, the court will do that. OK. What might, might negate that moral duty? If uh, I've been a scoundrel? Yes, it could do. It, 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 what's called disinheriting behaviour. If, if you haven't been a... Right, just uh, d write this down, everybody. If, if you haven't been, a, not necessarily a loyal child, but if, if you haven't been in contact, haven't shown natural love and affection, and haven't been in contact for, for some time, then uh, the courts will think, well, there's, there's less uh, available to you from, from the uh, deceased. Funds. Okay, and what, what other sort of things might be disinheriting behaviour? I've, got, I've just got keep in touch. <laughs> keep, keep in touch. I mean, even something as simple, we've had cases with uh, just, just sending Christmas cards, birthday cards, things like that. Uh, take, taking some concern, not just turning up at the, the deathbed and not having been seen for some 30 or 40 years. Is it worth uh, t contesting a will if you feel you, you, you should be in that will? Oh, definitely. I mean, that's what I was saying before with the, uh, with the amount of money involved these days and, and the case you're talking about, it's a million dollars plus and mm. it's uh, well worth putting your hand up and, and having a go. And how do, if I'm the one making the will, how do I make sure that the money I want to go to charity goes to charity rather than my children? Well, you can't in the will right. it, because the Family Protection Act does allow those claims. The best way is uh, when you die, don't have the assets in your hands and uh, the best way to do that is set up a trust while you're alive and uh, have the funds there. What happens if you die without a will? If you die, that's called an intestacy and you go to the Administration Act and that provides a certain set formula of who gets your assets when you die. Okay, and who do, what, what is the order? It, it's, it's spouse, partner, children uh, and so on and they get different shares depending on your family makeup and it can go right down to cousins, nieces, nephews, aunts and uncles, parents etc. But it's all a very set formula. We all know we should have a will but a lot of people yes. don't. In the eyes of the law, does writing something down on a piece of paper, signing it and having someone witness it count? It can be. There's the, uh, the Wills Act now has uh, section 14 which allows even though a will is not properly executed in terms of the Act, it can still be proved to be your last testamentary wishes. The court will make an order and uh, that can be filled. But your advice, I'm sure, would be to get a will. Yes. Don't, don't risk, one, it's costly, and two, there's always a risk that the court may say, no, that's not a valid will. So. Fantastic stuff. Richard Broad, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you, thank you for your feedback. We've had